Hey guys, it's Kira. Welcome back to the Subtle YouTube channel. Today we are talking all things concealer. Now I wanted to make a dedicated concealer video because A, we've been getting some questions with the new formulation about how to best apply. And B, a lot of people comment on the fact that Subtle doesn't have foundation. And while I will sometimes use foundation and a stack if I'm doing like a full makeup look on days when I'm just doing something more casual and I'm just trying to like hang out around the house or I will just use the Subtle Concealer as a kind of like pseudo foundation because it actually spreads really easily and stays on all day. If you get the right shade, it can be great just to kind of spot conceal and cover up those trouble areas without having to wear a full-on foundation. So let's dive in. So my concealer shade, I've actually been going with 3N. I'm probably in between 3N and 3-4, but I've been enjoying going a little bit lighter, especially since we're going into fall and I'm not so tan anymore. So the first thing with the subtle concealers is you need to use your finger and you need to give it some time to warm up. And when you start doing this, if your pan is moving, which it just happened to me, you just have to push your bezel down and make sure that it's clicked into place all the way and then you won't have trouble with it spitting. Really warm this up and if you don't, it's gonna be a little bit cakey and like hard to apply, but once you've like warmed it up with your fingers, it's just so, so good. I usually start with the under eye and I like to use my ring finger so that I'm not too like tough on the area. Start by applying here and sometimes I'll tap if I have like a lot of time. If I don't, honestly, I'll just like kind of smooth it all out and just look at how beautifully that applies and like blends into the skin. I'm just obsessed with how it goes on. Like look at the difference. Look at how blurred that is. It's amazing. And I've learned to kind of take it down like the side of the nose, kind of in a triangle shape. At least for me, that is the best approach. And I have some under eye veins, which this concealer actually covers up pretty well. I'll put some right here to kind of lift the eye, rub to apply initially, and then we'll pat set it in. You can cover up your red or dark spots. As you can see, I have quite a few. It's the same thing. I just kind of do a mix of like blending and patting. Definitely have a few little breakouts that I gotta cover up. Sometimes when you're doing your makeup in the bathroom, it's like the lighting is weird and you can't tell if it actually looks good. So I will just like take my stack real quick with the mirror and go to a window. And I love that I can make sure that it really looks good. But yeah, really, if you're having trouble with it being too dry, you're probably just not warming it up enough. That makes a huge difference. And if you have a spot that's a little bit like greasier, then that's when padding really comes in handy because the dragging like really spreads it out quickly, but the padding is where you will get it to stay much longer. And yeah, I mean, you can honestly almost use this as like a full foundation. It's just important to get the right shade match. And if you guys aren't sure on your shade, we do have a quiz where you can like fill out all your info, including what current concealer you use and set will shade match you, which is so cool. And again, like I really like having two shades on hand. Sometimes I'll mix them. Sometimes I'll use the brighter one under the eye and then the darker one to like cover up my spots or depending on how tan or pale I am. And then sometimes if I'm gonna be wearing eyeshadow, I will go into the eye and just cover that up. And there we have it. It is such a big difference just in the way that you apply concealer and how you use it. And really just taking the time to warm it up. Even if you use like a liquid concealer, it's best to apply it to the fingers, warm it up in the finger, and then apply to the skin. You really don't want to apply concealer just like directly to the skin. I mean, I'll do it sometimes if I'm in a rush. That's a great thing about cream concealer is that like you're just using your fingers, you're warming it up. All you really need like is a couple subtle products and your fingers and maybe, ooh, got it. And maybe your trusty little round brush in the bottom, but 
that's it. Like I said, keep two different shades on hand depending on what time of year it is and what shade your skin is. Oh, and lastly, I can't believe I almost forgot this, but make sure that you're moisturizing well. So I always do my skincare in the morning. You wanna make sure all of your steps are one following the other. Don't completely dry your skin in between steps to keep hydrated. And then make sure to apply a really nice hydrating sunscreen. I love the Super Goop sunscreen it's like the best it has just like a some glow to it and for me that's just like the best combo and it makes the concealer go on super smooth if you're having dry concealer or issues applying your concealer a big part of that is probably that your skin is not well hydrated and of course drink water get your beauty rest all those important things i hope this video helped you guys out just make sure to be delicate and gentle when you're applying your concealer too like you don't want to be doing anything crazy and like dry dragging your skin. Now I just have a super minimalistic base that if I wanted to add a few more products, I could, or honestly, if I wanted to just go out and hang around the house like this, I would do that too. If you just have a minute or two, just throw some concealer on. That's really all that you need. Okay. I hope you guys found this helpful. In the next video, I'm going to be finishing off this minimalistic look and just doing a look with three products with the concealer, lip and cheek, and bronzer. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that. And if you want to build your own subtle stack, just head to subtlebeauty.com. Bye guys.